What is a paladin? The first time I heard the term paladin was in the context of medieval fantasy. Games like Dungeons and Dragons or World of Warcraft where a paladin is a specific class which is like a holy warrior with some sort of oath to uphold or something like that. But what actually is a paladin? Where does this idea come from? Well, to figure that out, first thing we should do is look at the name. The English term paladin comes from the French paladin, which in turn comes from the Latin palatinus, which is an adjective meaning uh, pertaining to the palace or, or the Palatine Hill, which is where the term palace gets its name. Now, in Rome, the Palatinus was a specific office that was held uh, by some government officials. But to understand the medieval fantasy context, we have to go to the Middle Ages with the Comes Palatinus. In Merovingian Francia, the Comes, or companions, of the king were often given special roles within the government. Many of these were given uh, the administrative role over certain parts of the kingdom centered around a town which is why the term comes would eventually come into English as the term count. Now, over time, the comes became more of an office rather than a personal relationship with the king. And so those who did have a strong relationship with the king were granted the title of comes palatinus, count of the palace. And this came with certain privileges, like certain judicial rights, which were traditionally reserved for the king himself. By the High Middle Ages, the territory of the Comes Palatini, often rendered in English as Counts Palatine, started to be referred to as a Palatinate. Now, if you're familiar with the term Palatinate, you're probably familiar with the Palatinate of the Rhine. This wasn't the only one, but it's certainly the most famous because it lasted for a long time, and eventually the Counts Palatine of the Rhine would become one of the seven elector princes of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so then how do we get from Counts Palatine to the paladins of medieval fantasy? Well, for that, we actually have to turn to literature. By the 11th century, there was a new genre of literature that was becoming popular called the Chanson de Geste, which translates into English as Songs of Deeds. One of the oldest and most well-known of these Chansons de Geste is the Song of Roland, which was part of a cycle of stories that were very popular at the time related to the 8th century court of Charlemagne and his followers, which was just as popular as and very similar to the stories about Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Charlemagne's companions in these stories, of which Roland was often seen as the leader, were known as his 12 paladins. And there are always 12, although their names change from story to story, though Roland is pretty much always there. And the stories of Charlemagne and his 12 paladins were fairly popular in these Chansons de Geste as long as the genre was in vogue. One of my favorite of these stories is one where Charlemagne and his paladins go on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem and on their way back they stop at the court of the Byzantine Emperor and there's this thing where when the wind blows it causes the whole floor of the palace to spin around like some kind of a merry-go-round and they're all stumbling and trying to stand up. It's pretty funny. These stories often had lots of fantastical elements, and the paladins were meant to be portrayed as the ideal, devoted, and faithful warriors, which meant that they were very pious. And because these stories were being written during the time of the Crusades, there's a lot of stories about them going off and fighting against Muslims. The genre would fall out of favor at some point, but it would be picked up again in the Italian Renaissance. And Italian writers often played up the fantastical elements even more than the medieval stories did. And it's from this tradition that fantasy authors in the 20th century took the paladin as a holy warrior and adopted it there.